Popping, what's popping, man? Look, you got to know your worth out here, man. And I'm talking about relationships, uh, uh, when you learn the skill. For example, trucking, man. You know, you got to know your work. You got, if you go back out on the road, you got to know what you're going back out for. That's why I say you got to have options. You got to have different ways of getting money. So you don't have to uh, agree to everything. So you don't have to be a slave to this. Nah, you don't ever want to be, you want to always have options. When you have options, you can move how you want to move. You know, you want to always have options, man. Know your work, man. If you go back on that road, what you going back out there for? You know, how much you want to make? You got to ask yourself all that. You know, and this for my truckers, you know, the ones that took a break are the ones that uh, feel like they deserve more. If you feel like you deserve more, yeah, you, you don't put in that time. You know, you don't put in that time. You know, I know I put in that time, so I already know where I'm going back for. And I think I found the company today, you know, through a guy that I was uh, talking to, you know, one of my homeboys. So, like, I'm saying, man, if you go back over that road, know what you're doing it for. Know what you want to make out of it, you know. Don't just settle, man. Trust me, I know because I settled at a point in time in my career, in my trucking career. I had settled, and I was going hard, hard. And I was bringing in like 2K a week. And, and to me, that was settling. You know, that was settling. But you can do way better. It's just all about how you going to negotiate. I'm telling you, I learned how to negotiate. And negotiating is when you have leverage. You know, that's when you have leverage. That's when you put in the work, you know what to do. You don't mind working. You don't, you know, you got leverage. And in this trucking game, in any skill you got, man, you're a plumber, you're a chef, uh, you're a driver. You, you got leverage if you put in the work, man. I'm telling you, you got leverage. That's why I say it's so important to have skills. It's so important to have skills in this lifetime, man, so you can keep making money. That's why I say, man, that CDL is the best, bro. No, I ain't gonna say it's the best because you got other trades and stuff you can learn too, like fixing on cars, um, just all kind of tech stuff, uh, all kind of stuff, man. You got all kind of things that are that are great, you know. But you want to learn a skill. You want you don't want to just be out here going to warehouse, to warehouse, to warehouse, and scamming, scamming, scam. Nah, you don't want to do that. You want to always have a skill and you want to have options, you know. So if this slow, you can do this. You can. You know, that's that's how you want to move out here, man, especially when you're young. You know, have some skills on your belt. Have some certifications on your belt, but know your worth. Once you learn it, once you learn your craft and you're confident, know your worth. Don't be afraid to uh, tell them, not ask. Don't be afraid to tell them, look, this is what I deserve. And this is why people who don't want to, uh, you know, have their own. Because, look, some people don't want their own trucking company. Some people don't want their own, you know, stuff like that. You know, so that's cool, but know your work because you can always get what you want, but a closed mouth don't get fed. You know, a closed mouth don't get fed. You know, like I say, the reason why I say get a skill is because you want to earn this money and you want to put that money back into your crafts, your hobbies, you know, your, your real passion. You want to put that money back into that. So you're really not just doing it for nothing. Like it, it, it's for a purpose, you know. And these days the scams are ran out, man. You know the scams are ran out. And you still got some people scamming and shit like that. Or they trying to, you know. But the scams are ran out. You gotta have a skill, man. You have to have a skill, you know, or something you love and you good at it and you sacrifice and you sacrifice the money part and you really went in on it, you know. But. Know your worth, man. Don't be out here shorting yourself because that's where all the frustrations come. Even when you're dealing with women, like know your worth, man. You know, why are you with a woman that's talking to you crazy? And you a hardworking man. You a hardworking man, but you dealing with women that's talking to you crazy. That's telling you, you ain't shit. <laughs> you know, you got to know your worth, bro. And when you young, yeah, like that pussy, that pussy is power when you young. <laughs> that pussy make you bite your tongue. Ain't that shit crazy? Even some older niggas. Some older niggas be biting their tongue. You know, because that pussy, that p I'm telling you, you know. But, hey, that shit got to stop, man. You got to know your worth because if you do, if you never amount to your worth, man, guess what? You will have a life of frustration. You going to be frustrated. And trust me, I was there. Shit, just last year, I was there. But like I say, it's all a learning lesson. You know? Now, Shit, I know my work in my uh in my field, my trade, I know my work. 
you know? And I know how much I want to make so I can put that back into my uh, photography. I know how much I want to make to put that back, you know, uh, with my daughter. I know how much I want to make to put back in these classic cars, you know? So know your worth, man, you know? Y'all have a good day.